Okay, right. So I wasn't planning on making this video. It's currently, what's the time? Nearly eight o'clock. It's Thursday right now. If it focuses. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Eight o'clock Thursday. I wasn't planning ma to make any videos today in terms of you know, sitting in front of the camera and talking because I just needed to take a step back and just kind of reflect on things that's been happening and how I can improve to help you out. But then I saw a common theme in the comment section, a common theme that a lot of people have been asking me. Like there's a lot of messages I've been getting. And to be fair, I've tried my best in terms of replying to all of you. Uh, if you actually, actually, you know what? I've replied to pretty much everyone. Like, tell me any other YouTubers that have been replying the way I've been replying. You gotta give that thumbs up, seriously. Like, that has been crazy, right? Like, the amount of messages that I've been replying to has just been, my gosh, my mind is just literally, it's crazy. But I'm doing it because I wanna help you, right? I'm not the kind of like these other YouTubers I've seen where they just kind of press a heart and then they don't reply. I've been trying to reply to all of you guys, right? So it has been interesting. And through those replies, I was able to see a pattern. And this is the, the, what the video is gonna be about. And I'm going to share my honest, raw truth in this. So if you don't wanna hear the truth, and it might sound brutal, and it is gonna sound a bit kind of harsh, but it's going to be for you so you can improve. It's gonna be for the beneficial benefit of you so you can actually improve. And this is me trying to help you out. But if you don't wanna hear that, if you don't wanna hear the harsh truth, this video is not for you. Click away from this because you're not gonna like it. And probably you should just unsubscribe if you're not in it for this. And the, the, the theme that I was seeing basically was that a lot of people were asking me, can I get from a grade six to a nine? Can I get from a grade five to an eight? Can I, grade, can I get from a grade C to an A star? A lot of you have been asking me this. It's been a common theme. And I know why you're asking. I know why you're asking. I know, I can see it, I know why. And I know you're going through the stressful period. It's very stressful, it's very pressured. You want validation from me. You want me to encourage you to say it's gonna be okay. Let's be honest. You're asking me these questions because you need someone like me to come and tell you that it's gonna be okay. That you can get the grade that you can get the, from grade C to a grade A star. Let's be honest, that's what you want, right? Because probably either your teachers are not helping you, they're not giving you the validation, or your parents are not doing that, or you see other friends are doing better than you and you're feeling a bit, you're feeling more stressed and you're feeling like you're not good enough, so you need to come and ask me, can I do this? So you get a bit of encouragement to make you feel better. But this is where you're going wrong. And this is where I'm gonna be real and honest because you know, this is where the other YouTubers are just gonna feel like they're the gurus, right? They're here to help and it's fine. But I'm gonna tell you the real truth, the real truth where this is literally me, I, me saying this is probably gonna kill the channel in the sense that, because I'm, I'm being, <laughs> how do I explain this? It's me really kind of saying it in a way where I'm being so truthful that maybe this is not what people wanna hear. But the reason why I'm being truthful is actually to help you and your mindset to go to the next level. Where other YouTubers will, they, other YouTubers will just kind of carry on as normal and not go th this extra step that I'm about to say because they don't care. But I'm about to do this because I actually want you to better your mindset. The you asking me, can I get from a grade six to an A, whatever grade C to whatever grade, is wrong because it means that you are seeking validation from me. Who am I? I'm just a random guy. I'm just a random guy. That validation should come intrinsically from you. I understand, listen, I get it. I understand right now it is stressful. I understand that you have a lot of pressure and you feel like the whole world is coming at you. I get that. But through that hardship comes improvement. Through that hardship, it would test your character. It would test your mental side. It would test how much you believe in yourself. I can't give you that. I can look at the amount of replies that I've done. It is, it's, I can't even keep a count because it's, I'm, if I open my phone now, there's probably gonna be 10, 15, 20 other people messaging, saying, asking other things as well. I, I can guarantee you that. But I can't give you the mo like I can't give you what you need in terms of the validation. I can say yes, but what does that yes do to you? It gives you a bit of encouragement, but the real encouragement, the real validation that you need to get is you need to get that from yourself. It has to be an intrinsic motivation. It has to come from you. You need to believe in yourself. If you can't believe in yourself, no one else is going to believe in you. And I understand that 
teachers, some teachers are bringing you down. But like I said in my previous videos, take it out in one ear and let it go out the other. Because it always it goes back to this, right? It goes back to this. At the end of the day, don't worry about these exams. Yes, it's exams, etc. Fine. But at the end of the day, whether you do this exam, whether you go and work in the corporate world, whether you go and start a business, this is going to happen, by the way. This is going to happen, right? No one's going to believe in you more than you need to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, everyone around you is not going to believe in you. You have to understand that for you, the question of can I get from this grade to that grade, you shouldn't be asking that question. And do you know why you shouldn't be asking that question? You, it's a wrong mindset that you have. The mindset right now for you should be, my goal is to get this. Okay, I need to get on with the work. That's it. It shouldn't be, can I get from a six to an A star? It shouldn't be. And you see, this is where I'm, this is where I'm being real here, right? This is where the conventional YouTubers won't say this. They're not going to go down this level, this level of deepness. But I'm telling you because I understand where you're coming from. But I'm telling you because this is not the right mindset to have. For you to improve to the next level, you can't ask, you can't keep asking, can I do this? Can I do this? Yes, you can. Of course you can. Of course you can get from this grade to that grade. Of course. But that shouldn't come from me. It shouldn't come from me to say you can do it. Yes, a little of encouragement is fine. And, me, and hopefully these videos are giving you that encouragement. But I shouldn't come down in the comments and tell you that you can do it. That should come from you. I hope you really understand that because this is very important. This is where you change your mindset. This is what other YouTubers won't talk about because they don't want you to better yourself. I want you to better yourself. I want you to improve. I want you to change that mindset where you are independent, where you don't need me to tell you it's going to be okay. This is what I was saying. Probably this is going to be killing my channel now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to unsubscribe because I'm just saying the truth, man. But you know what? I'd rather say the truth because I know it's coming from here, from my heart, so that it actually helps you out. And if it means that it's helped you out, then great, I've done my job. I know other people, what they'll do is they'll try and keep you in, keep you reeling in because they want the money or whatever, man. I couldn't give a shit about that, man, seriously. So understand this thing of this, this, are you asking these questions? It's all great and fine, but I can't give you that motivation. I can't give you that, you know, I can give you encouragement and I will give you the encouragement through these videos. Don't worry. I've got you that. I've got that covered. But you have to believe in yourself that you can do it. You shouldn't be asking these questions. You should be just getting on with work in terms of, okay, what do I need to do? What's my next thing to do? That is how you should be thinking. That is your mindset. Because if, like, think about it this way. This is real. This is why I'm going to bring the other aspects of life. And I know a lot of you guys are going to like this now, right? Because I'm bringing the life thing. But when you're working in the corporate world, right? When you're working at a job, when you're starting up a business, are you going to ask your manager or your co-workers, hey, listen, do you think I can get this work done? Hey, listen, do you think I can get the work to a high standard? Are you going to be asking that? You, that sounds a bit, you know, you, you, you wouldn't, right? Because then it will make you look weak, I guess. So then where do you find that? Where do you find that motivation and that belief? It has to come from you. Some families, parents will bring you down. Trust me, my, my family, pss, they, always, they did that for me. But you, have, you build a thick skin. You build a thick skin. It's so easy to say, yeah, just get on with it. Just, you'll be okay. Don't worry. Just, just, they're just giving you encouragement all the time. Yeah, you, you'll be okay. Don't worry. You know, keep working. And like, man, shut up, man. What do you mean just keep working? Why are you, they just, these people are just giving you words. It's just encouragement. That is not the truth. Encouragement is okay, but we, you don't need encouragement all the time. Because that encouragement has to come from you. That mindset of you wanting to be better than your previous version. It has to come from you. That drive has to come from you. No one's just going to do that for you. I left home. That came from me. I started the businesses. That came from me. No one told me to do it. No one told me to start these businesses. No one told me to leave home because there were so much problems. I did that for myself. I take the responsibility. And when you start doing that, people will put you on a different level. When you start believing in yourself, people will come to you because the energy that you carry forward, the energy that you carry with you is on a different level. Don't, you shouldn't be thinking, okay, can I get an eight? You'll get an eight. Think about it. I'll get it and I'll do whatever it takes. That is it. End of story. Full stop. 
these motivational YouTubers where they say, do this, do that, man, it's complete crap, man, because there's nothing behind motivation. There's just words, they're just trying to get views, trying to keep it so generic. I know, I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. There's a lot of these YouTubers, revision guides, that say, oh, do this, don't worry, do this, you'll be fine, man, shut up, man. If you can't, like, that, that's just so wishy-washy. But I said, okay, let's go deep down. I'm actually, look at what I'm telling you here. <laughs> I'm actually telling you the opposite, right? Opposite of you shouldn't be like asking these questions. I could be very well saying, no, keep asking the questions. Keep getting, keep making this better. Like keep growing the channel in terms of, you know, paying the comments. I could say that, but I'm saying the opposite here because I want you to improve. I want you to change your mindset. I want you to look, take a look at this from a perspective of, okay, if I'm asking someone else, for validation and encouragement there's something wrong with me i need to fix this myself internally i shouldn't be asking for validation and encouragement from someone else i will give you the encouragement i will give you all of that through the videos i make don't you worry about that i will do that i'm not going anywhere but you also have to take the belief in yourself to know that you can do it as well Belief is so powerful. Belief can sh move and shape countries. Trust me, it has done before in history. And it's kind of doing it now as well, actually, to be fair. But you shouldn't be expecting me to give you the encouragement. You shouldn't be expecting me to, you know, say everything's going to be okay. It won't be okay. This is the honest truth. It won't be okay. Okay, fine. What are you going to do now? Are you going to cry in, in, in the corner and just be like, oh my gosh, my life is coming, to, is, is coming down? I, you know, everything is crashing down. Or are you going to be like, okay, it's not going to be okay, but what am I going to do? I'm going to focus on the things I can control. That is all I can do. That is all any of us can do. Do you know, like last week, there were so many things that's happened in my life, left and right, personal, business, that were out of my control. And I could have said, you know what? I don't want to make any of YouTube videos because I need to sit and wallow in pity because I wanted to play the victim or something. I know, I, I never play the victim. I don't play the victim. The moment you play the victim, <laughs> man... You're, you're degrading yourself. So is that what you want to do? You don't. You take the bull by the horn and say, okay, I'm going to control and do the things that I can. Anything else that's outside my control, there's nothing I can do. It's fine. You not getting the grades is not going to be the end of your life. Let me just assure that to you. Trust me when I say that. It is not. It can even be a great lesson for you, even if you don't do well. Trust me. The best lessons that you can learn are from failures. The best lessons that you can learn are from failures. Actually, that is a very good quote. Someone put that down in the comments. But, but that doesn't mean go and fail. <laughs> Don't go and fail, by the way. Yeah, that's not what I'm trying to say, please. Because I, I know there's some people that just take everything I say for like, that doesn't mean go and fail. What I'm saying is, even if you've tried hard and you've done everything and you didn't get the grade you want, don't worry about that. You've put the work in. There's nothing more you can do. Don't compare yourself with someone who's doing better than you. Don't worry about that. Change this first. Change your mindset. These videos that I'm making, I don't want to waste your time. But what I'm saying here is a lot of real truth that is you can then you can use to improve yourself. Go and see any other YouTubers that does this. I don't think they do. Not in this realm, in this space. I don't think so, no. So this is what I want to say to you, right? Next time, when you're having these doubts and these questions, can I do it? Can I do it? Of course you can do it. And that's it. It should be done. Don't think about it again. Get on with the work. And let that happen as it comes. Whatever happens in the results, it happens. As long as you've done the work though, don't be lazy. Do not be lazy and say, I've done one hour of work and then that one hour of work and that's it. No, no, no. You put the work in, you focus, you push it. And then don't worry about the results. Any doubts that come, any negative thoughts, any friends or anyone that says this and that, uh -uh, ignore, 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 ignore. You don't need that. You don't need that. Can I get from a six to a nine? Can I get from a five to an eight? Okay. Can I? I don't know if I can, but I'm going to try my hardest. And then I'll see what happens. That's it. End of story. Because that, what that will do is you don't need to worry. Like you're not wasting time anymore. A lot of people are wasting time on doing in worry and stress. Trust me, it does not. It, it's 
it's the it's one of the worst things that you can do in this current moment is wasting time on this when you start working and you start focus on this you're not going to have the capacity to worry you're not going to have the capacity to think so get on with the work don't worry about whether you get the grade or not just put the work in right now there's no time for that and believe in yourself man have some self belief in yourself say you can do it and even if it doesn't happen it doesn't matter because you're starting to change your mindset what i'm trying to get to you guys and what i'm trying to help you with is your mindset, you need to change that mindset. It's just too much sugar coating these days, too much softness, too much comfort comfort zone. And these, the, these videos I'm doing is, I'm trying to take you out of it because I want you to come and see the harsh reality of life to try and build that mindset so you can get somewhere very high in your levels or in your level of life, wherever that is, in whatever corporate job, medical, business, whatever it is, but it starts from here. If this is not there, if this is not in the right place, you can forget about everything. Trust me when I say that. If the mindset is not there, you would not be able to do anything. They don't tell you that, do they? Of course they're not going to. They're not going to say any of that stuff. Why would they? Because they want you here. Most people want you here. I don't want you here. I want you here. That's where I want you to be. I want you here. I don't want you here. <sighs> yeah. So listen, next time these thoughts comes, take in one ear, let it go out the other. If you just finish off with one thing, can I get from a C to an A? Can I get from a B to an A star? I don't know if I can. I will try my hardest and I'm going to believe in myself. And that is all I'm going to do. And now I need to focus on my work. That is it. Everything starts from zero. When are you going to start? Peace.